Hey everyone, Ro here. Today we begin a new mini-series as we discuss the redemption of the Traitor Legions, beginning with the Black Legion. Now, I'm not really sure this needs a spoiler warning, but I'll undoubtedly mention events that have transpired throughout the 40k lore, so I'll throw out a general spoiler warning anyway. So, just keep that in mind. However, with that said, let's just jump straight in. Now, Traitor Primarch Redemptions have always been a fun what-if topic of conversation, and it certainly has appeared over the past few years that the Emperor himself has not given up hope in regards to some of his lost sons, even some 10,000 years later. When it comes to a theoretical Primarch Redemption, I very much think the Emperor would only intend upon saving the Primarchs themselves, founding them a new pure legion or lineage, a la the offer to his son Magnus the Red. Their existing sons and legions would be seen as nothing but a lost cause. However, I thought it would be fun to consider those legions' redemptions, and today we're going to begin a mini-series, ranking them from least likely to most. Before we begin, of course, none of them are ever going to happen. This is just a fun what-if conversation and debate. And as ever, it is just my opinion. As always, drop your own thoughts in the comments below. We have 9 Traitor Legions to rank. So today, we begin with number 9, the Legion I believe is least likely to ever be redeemed. The Black Legion. Now, I'm sure many people would put a more visibly corrupted Legion at the very bottom. However, for me, this conversation and ranking is all going to be about trying to look past the obvious corruption, into the very heart of the legions. And of all the traitor legions, I genuinely see the redemption of the Black Legion as very much the least likely. And that is for several reasons. First of all, they have no Primarch. I feel the redemption of a Primarch would undoubtedly have a great deal of influence over the following of the rest of its legion. For the Black Legion, there is no Primarch. We all know the fate of Horus. Yes, they have Abaddon, who is essential to the continuation of this legion, who himself founded it anew from the ashes of the former sons of Horus. But for me, it's just not the same as that bonded relationship a Primarch has with his sons. Abaddon may be essential to the very identity of the Black Legion, but he can never match the genetic link between the sons of a Legion to their father. While Abaddon leads the Black Legion, while he rules the Black Legion, the unopposed War Master of Chaos. For me, he will never be able to have that same bond and effect with the spirit of his legion that a Primarch does. Let's take the clone of Fulgrim for example, the very image of the Phoenician before his fall to Slaanesh. What happened when the corrupted marines of the Emperor's children laid eyes upon him? Well, they fell to their knees in tears at the sight of their former uncorrupted Primarch, Fulgrim as he was meant to be. Just think about that for a moment. For all the decadence, for all the sins, mutations and obvious corruption, Despite all of that, they still drop down to their knees in tears at the very sight of their Primarch as he once was. Abaddon could never match that. When Sanguinius fell, 
we know the psychic backlash and rage that overcame his sons. When the White Scars believed Jagatai lost, they flew into overwhelming fury. Can we truly say the same for the Black Legion, if Abaddon were to fall? Personally, I do not think so. However, admittedly, as we all know, I am more of a loyalist than a heretic. And all of this isn't knocking Abaddon, because for this conversation, it's actually a very good thing. Even in an impossible situation were Abaddon to be redeemed, it wouldn't have in my mind a huge effect on the loyalty of the rest of the Legion. Rather than being overwhelmed and falling to their knees in tears, re-pledging their loyalty to the Imperium, for the rest of the Black Legion, Abaddon would merely be seen as weak. The Legion may break apart without his iron fist, but it would not turn. And for all the lack of a genetic legacy Abaddon may have, it's also the essence of his Black Legion, or at least the core of the Legion, that makes it so hard to ever return to the Emperor's light. This isn't a Legion corrupted or manipulated by a god. This is a Legion dedicated simply to the Long War. This is not a Legion following the whims or desires of Nurgle of corn. Sure, there are some aspects within it that worship those deities, but the core of the Legion, those former sons of Horus, they are motivated by nothing but bitter hatred, by spite. It isn't the influence of the gods that truly guides them, it is a simple, primitive hatred. They hate the Imperium. And I don't like to use a word such as pure here, but for want of a better term, the hatred of the Black Legion is a pure hatred. Again, we're talking the core of the Legion, the former sons of Horus who truly follow their Warmaster Abaddon not the millions of renegade Astartes who would later flock to his banner. It is they who possess a far more purer hatred for me than of legions dedicated to particular gods or causes. Now the other aspect we have to take into mind is the sheer size of the Black Legion. They are ridiculously large dwarfing even the size of the still held together traitor legions, the word bearers and the death guard. At least as far as we know in regards to the death guard, who are still actively growing in size. But the point remains the black legion is massive. They have taken in all manners of renegades and traitor Astartes from across the galaxy entire. As such, there are probably sections and warbands beneath the Banner of Abaddon that he doesn't even know about. They follow Abaddon simply only in name. While the core of that legion may be dedicated entirely to his vision, the rest most likely don't possess quite the same conviction. They fight under the name of the Black Legion for their own personal need. And with that in mind, even if the core of the Legion was somehow impossibly brought back into the light, it would truly be an impossibility for the Black Legion entire to follow suit, because they are simply too vast. And the further out you go, the bonds that bind them together only ever become weaker. And so with all that in mind, that is why I believe, of all the traitor legions, the Black Legion would be the least likely to ever truly be redeemed. How the Legion is constructed, the sheer vastness of its size, and at the very core, just too pure a hatred.
But as always guys, what do you think? Do you agree with the Black Legion as the least likely? Or do you have a different opinion? Of all the traitor legions, who would you have down as the least likely to ever be redeemed? Remember here we're trying to put aside those obvious mutations, to look past them into the nature and character of the legion's identities. Do you see the Black Legion's hatred as a more pure aspect than, say, the Death Guard or Emperor's Children's? Do you see their size as an issue? And what of their lack of a Primarch? As always, leave your thoughts in the comments below, I love to read them. Huge thank you to all my subscribers, your support truly means a lot to me, it really does. And if you're new, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. If you enjoyed this particular vid, then why not drop a like on it too. But with that said, I am off, and I'll see you all again real soon as we continue our countdown of Traitor Redemptions.